understanding the basic settings of your spy point link camera. Understanding the settings in the spy point app are critical to ensuring you get the best performance from your camera. We're going to take a few minutes to go through the basic settings in the app so you can put yourself and your camera in the best position to succeed. First, open your spy point app and go to the camera tab in the app. For each device, you will see four options for additional information. The status page gives you insight into things like signal and battery status, last communication time, camera model, firmware version, and SIM number. The photos tab allows you to see photos from that specific device. The plans tab allows you to see which photo transmission plan your camera is currently on and what your other options are. The settings tab allows you to view the settings and change settings for the camera and manage this device. Before we get into the settings, let's also explore the manage device options you have by clicking on this arrow. Here, you can change the camera's name, restore the camera to default settings, or delete this device from your account. You can only delete a device that is on a free photo transmission plan, and more details can be found in the How to Delete a Device from My Account video. Now, back to settings. To expand the basic settings, select the plus sign on the right of basic. The first setting you can select is mode. Depending on the camera you have, you may only be able to select photo or you could choose video or time-lapse modes. Let's explore the rest of the photo mode settings before looking at the others. When in photo mode, you can also choose the delay setting. The delay is how long the camera waits to take another photo after the last detection. You can choose instant, which is no delay, 10 seconds, or 1, 3, 5, 10, 15, or 30 minutes. For cameras placed on trails or transition areas, you'll probably want less delay, while feeders, food plots, or mineral sites, you might want a longer delay as animals will linger here, resulting in a high photo volume of the same animals. The next setting you can select is the multi-shot setting. This setting tells the camera how many photos to take each time the camera is triggered by a detection. These photos are taken in rapid succession. The last setting for photo mode is sensitivity. Changing this setting adjusts the motion sensor accordingly. The default setting here is medium, and in most instances, low is sufficient. We do not recommend using the high setting unless you are on an unlimited photo transmission plan. This setting is extremely sensitive and will generate a great number of photos. Additionally, a higher volume of images means more battery drain, therefore we recommend leaving this on medium or even turning it to low. If your camera allows you to select video mode, you will still have the delay and sensitivity settings, but the multi-shot setting will disappear. You are also now given two additional settings, photo first and video length. When toggled on, photo first instructs the camera to take a still photo before it begins capturing the video. Because spy point cameras do not transmit video files, selecting photo first will allow you to see what triggered the video to be taken while storing the video file on the SD card in the camera. The still photo will still be sent to your app like a regular photo. You can also select the video length from one of four options. 10, 30, 60, or 90 seconds. When set to time-lapse mode, all other settings will disappear except for the time-lapse setting itself. With this setting, you can select how often a photo is captured. This setting can be set in one minute increments from one minute to 24 hours. While in time-lapse mode, the camera will not use its motion detection sensor to take photos. It will only take photos at the preset interval. Hopefully, this helps you better understand the basic settings portion of your SpyPoint app. For more helpful and informative videos like this, visit spypoint.com support.